Since this procedure is performed in extremely urgent circumstances, there is not time to drape the patient. Chlorhexidine or betadine should be applied if time permits. If the patient is awake, administer local anesthesia. From cricothyroidotomy, stand on the patient's right side. Stabilize the larynx with your left thumb and middle finger, and use your index finger to palpate the thyroid cartilage. Move your index finger down until you palpate the cricoid cartilage. The space between the thyroid and cricoid cartilages is the cricothyroid membrane. This is where you will make the incision. Use the scalpel to make a 2.5 cm vertical incision through the skin and subcutaneous tissue. Use the curved hemostat to make a blunt dissection into the subcutaneous tissue. The initial incision should be vertical. First, because a vertical incision will avoid injury to the recurrent laryngeal nerves, which run parallel to the trachea. And second, because an initial incision above or below the cricothyroid membrane, if vertical, will allow extension of the incision as needed. In contrast, starting with a horizontal incision that is too low or too high would necessitate a completely new incision in the correct location. Next, use the scalpel to make a horizontal incision through the cricothyroid membrane. You may feel a pop as you enter the trachea. Extend the incision laterally, turn the blade, and extend it in the opposite direction. To avoid penetrating too deeply and perforating the esophagus, which lies posterior to the trachea, do not go more than 1.3 centimeters deep. To minimize the risk of esophageal perforation, hold the scalpel between your thumb and index finger and allow your middle finger to extend down the side of the scalpel, leaving the distal 1.3 centimeters of the blade exposed. If the patient is trying to breathe, once you enter the trachea, airflow should be audible and may also be visible. Once the trachea has been entered, make sure the blade stays within the incision so that communication with the trachea is never lost. Insert a tracheal hook and pull upwards on the distal portion of the incision, elevating the larynx. Once the tracheal hook is in place, you may remove the blade. Insert a trousseau dilator and open the membrane vertically. Then insert the tracheostomy tube. Hold the cannula in place and remove the obturator and attach the adapter. Inflate the cuff with a 10 cc syringe. Attach a bag valve unit and ventilate the patient. Look for symmetric chest rise and auscultate for symmetric breath sounds. Tie or suture the tracheostomy tube in place.